garnering polarizing viewpoints from the moment it passed two years ago. The final portion of the Safety Act goes into effect Monday, September 18th. 23 News reporter Connor Hollingsworth explains more about the pretrial fairness portion of the law and why court personnel could see some new faces in the courtrooms when the 18th rolls around. On Monday, Illinois will become the first state in the country to abolish cash bail. According to civil rights leaders, cash bail disproportionately impacts minorities who are less likely to afford bond. Now, groups across the state will come together to make this portion of the law make sure it will be properly implemented. But we know that other states are looking to Illinois as a progressive leader on civil rights and ending mass incarceration and restoring the presumption of innocence. On Monday, Pastor Violet Jonica with Brook Road United Methodist Church and other Winnebago County residents will become court watchers. What we do is we work with an organization that asks us to collect data and then we share that data back with experts so that they can evaluate it and ensure that the law is being implemented as intended in counties across the state. Watchers will collect demographics and other data of people coming to court for the Illinois Network for Pre-Trial Justice. They'll take note of the judge's response and focus on terms of release. We can use that information to collaborate with court actors to point out any blind spots or areas where you know, things are not being implemented as planned or as, as hoped or as intended. Brianna Payton with the organization says these court watchers are essential. For people to be able to go directly into the courtrooms and observe for themselves the way that this new system works, the way that it's more fair, the way that it's hopefully more thoughtful and rigorous than the current money bond system, the importance of that can't be overstated. Winnebago County State's Attorney Jay Hanley has some doubts about the law's definition of a detainable release, but is okay with the idea of no cash bail and watches in the courtroom. I've talked to uh, the uh, individuals who are going to be court watching uh, before when we thought the law was going to be in place, and I was uh, very welcoming and accommodating to them, uh, and so I welcome it. I have no issue with it. Supporters say new laws involve growing pains, but hope more eyes will mean fewer issues. That's part of the uh, core observation process as we go there as a further check and balance to make sure that things are going as intended. Now, residents are still able to become court watchers in Winnebago County. Just contact Rockford Urban Ministries. There's vir a, actually a virtual training tonight at 6 p.m. Just visit the Urban Ministries website. On Thursday, we will hear more from Hanley and other lawmakers about the region and this possible increase in workload and whether it could become a problem when it comes to enforcing the new law.